Welcome back to Ghost Records of the Wildland. I'm riding the motorcycle. So we have to destroy a combo. Go to the informant. But he's gonna help, right? What, you can't climb that? Bastard. Okay. I have a mind to shoot this guy down. Let's hear what he's got to say. Wanna talk? Roman says you've got something for me. It's gonna cost double this time. Take it up with her. Tell me what you got and I'll put in a good word for you. Okay, it's like this. El Boquita's jammed up and he's gotta get a shitload of money up to the bosses in Mexico. So he's running a big convoy up there tonight. How big? A couple of armored trucks for the cash, maybe half a dozen armored cars, maybe even a couple of helicopters. Serious shit. Where's the convoy? I don't know. El Boquita's being cautious as fuck. Only he and the drivers know the route. That's not good enough. I need a location. How about this? I know where you can find El Boquita. He's here in Kwani to make sure the convoy gets through. You follow him, he'll take you straight to the money. Actually, that sounds good. Let's go. Alright, let's find El Boquita. Not a gunshot till we have the money in sight. I got it. I'll fly. Good, crank it. Network station, sure. Get down for the shoot you do. And there. Yeah. Got eyes on a mounted weapon, another tango. up on the target area. El Boquita's expecting trouble, so let's take this low and slow. I got eyes on a captain. Oh, there we'll have an advantage. Deploying drone. Good. We got a third. I got one narco at the entrance to the camp. Is he? Here's target number five. Sniper out there. Marking an enemy. 
could call the rebels for help. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Oh, so we have infinite battery with this. Where can he be? Bowman, we got eyes on El Boquita. We'll tail him to the money. Roger that. We've got a tap on his cell phone. If he makes a call, says anything about the money or the convoy's route, you'll be able to listen in. Then my file will follow him. Yellow puppy. He is definitely gonna lead the convoy, is that it? Bowman, we found the convoy. I count at least three heavy vehicles and one helo. We need to keep those money trucks from reaching Mexico. Just as important, we need to take out El Boquita. Killing him will destroy Sueño and Nidia's relationship. Roger that. Try to snipe him. That's what I do for a killer drone right now. Shit, take cover! Damn it! HVT is down. Say again, El Boquita is dead. Okay, oh, that's cool. We got a good chopper with a lot of machine Taking guns. A shot. with patient set a good ambush in a good sniper position chopper inbound is that it just one truck Helicopter. Shit, we got a sniper. Destroyed. Opening 
Taking out the money truck and Elbow Kita is KIA. Outstanding. The beauty queen is royally fucked. We'll see if she makes a run for it or tries to beg Sueño's forgiveness. Either way, she's gonna expose herself. And when she does, we go get her. The beauty queen failed. In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Lydia knew she was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, baby. For you, Mireille. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mireina. I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, love doesn't get you very far. Not in the Bolivia you've created. Nomad. I've just got word. Thanks to us, the Beauty Queen smuggling operation is such a clusterfuck that she's a dead girl walking. Sueño sent a hit team to kill Nydia and her daughter Valeria. You got a location on the Beauty Queen? She's holed up at her hacienda with her daughter. We got this chick right where we want her. Get her and Valeria out of danger. She'll give us everything she knows. We're on our way. Nomad out. I asked the rebels to send a vehicle got enemy activity nearby. Okay, where is she? Can't click on her. Can I click on her swing you then? No. Of course not, why would I be able to? We're good to go. I'm surprised this combo was actually so easy to take out. Let's go, let's go. Sometimes I could have actually taken them alive. so much damage to Nydia Flores's network that El Sueño decided he's better off without her. Extract Flores and her daughter before the Sicarios get to them. Sounds easy enough. Also, it's the right thing to do. He's trying to run. Okay. Let's see where she is. the rebels to recon the area for us. Poke the horn 
hornet's nest. How? You're gonna get made. Hang back. Shit. Sueño's people are hitting the hacienda now. Let's move. Rebels for reinforcements. I put a call to the rebels. I got eyes on Nidia and the daughter. We need them both alive. Mama! Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer. Cuídenla! Valeria! Get on that helicopter! Mama! No! You want to kill me, pendejo? I'm right here. None of you assholes is going to lay a hand on my daughter. We don't want to hurt you or your daughter. We want Sueño. You help us. We can protect you. And you don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know Sueño better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his Okay, okay, okay. Damn it. Maybe I should have cleared the room first. Why do you make me run so much? Got some hostile activity. Ignore hostile activity. A second target. Shit, Sueño's people are hitting the hacienda now. Let's move. They're on alert. I called for some rebels to back us up. I'm asking the rebels to draw their attention. Good. I got eyes on Nidia and the daughter. We need them both alive. I called Pack the Tari for some reinforcements. Mama! Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer. Cuidenla! Let's get back to business. Call it there. Like I'm gonna trust you. You don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know Sueño better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are your only chance. I'm not giving up there, Sueño. We'll see. Let's take your helicopter. The Rumbles will take care of business, yeah? That was a very high range on this pistol.
sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Okay, get on. That's a good girl. Look at how small she is. To me or her. You people are gonna fuck me over the first chance you get. I suspect it's up to you. You're the cabrons who turned El Sueño against me in the first place. Our life was good before you came along. Your life was on permanent fast forward and you know it. We didn't make Sueño send people to kill you. We saved you and your daughter. Right. After you destroy all of it. My life's work. Everything I had. Well, not everything. Coming up on the RP. Oh, Karenia. Whatever happens, just remember that Mama loves you. Okay, let's extract them. Gracias, amigos. That money we took from the cartel. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nydia. And one day, Princess Nydia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. Nydia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had. And all Nydia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Nydia was so afraid of letting down Sueño that she even sacrificed the love of her life. The father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever see that little girl again. She will go into the foster care system and in five years, she won't even remember who you are. And I have both been there, Nydia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? Who's it gonna be? Valeria or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me Sueño? I will give you eternal life. Yeah, of course you'll promise eternal life. It's not like it's something you can't do. Promises are free. I asked Pakatar to see this video. Okay, what's next? My trafficking network was dismantled. No more cocaine came in. No more money went out. The drugs that remained lay there wrapped in cellophane, rotting away, becoming worthless. My men wondered where their next payout was going to come from. I had spent years building these routes. Billions of dollars in manpower, transportation, relationships, all gone. Including the beauty queen. I gave Nidia Flores everything, and she paid me back by running like a coward, instead of dying like royalty. Now she would spend the rest of her life serving the Americans. She killed her child's father for nothing. Isn't it amazing? You remove a few buchones, and the machine falls to pieces. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, I'm good to go. Maybe he's annoyed because he, he's, she's serving the Americans, I mean. Sounds reasonable. El Sueño wants to meet. Maybe he wants to negotiate, maybe he wants to kill you. Either way, watch your ass. Hola, caballeros. You four are causing me more trouble than I've ever had. Pleasure's all ours, Sueño. 
But if you like, we can end this right now. Just turn yourself in. All this trouble for Ricky Sandoval. A cabron who was little more than a corrupt policeman. You have no idea what is really going on. I can give you the truth about Sandoval. Enough bullshit. I have evidence an audio recording of Ricky Sandoval confessing his greatest sin. Then you will see that your whole mission, your entire reason for being here, is based on a lie. Are you really this desperate to save your own ass? More lies? I am many things, but a liar is not one of them. Listen to the audio recording yourself. There will be no tricks, but I doubt you will have much reason to come after me once you hear what Sandoval has to say. You definitely liked this game a couple of times now. El Sueño's offering to give us Agent Sandoval's recorded confession. It's probably a trap, but we can't afford not to check it out. Okay, I don't know how fast we're going. I hope it's fast enough. How close is this thing? So we can control to this place. Okay, go. Yeah, we control people in the trunk. I've never done that. So maybe I should have. I mean, there are definitely people I want to throw in the trunk. Oh, come on. You seriously gonna make it difficult for me? recorder is here. Exercise some extreme caution, people. We have no idea what we're walking into. Chop this up to professional courtesy. <laughs> it was me. I blew up the embassy in La Paz. You blew up the U.S. embassy in La Paz? Yeah. And it wasn't some DEA or CIA false flag bullshit. The rebels helped with the op, but it was me. Why bomb your own embassy? I had no choice. My bosses were gonna pull me out of Bolivia. No one gave a shit about what you were doing down here. No one wanted to commit... to commit any resources... Fucking hell! ...to stopping you assholes. I... I needed them to pay attention. And for that, I needed the theater. And people don't pay attention at the theater unless somebody dies. Jesus, you just hit a civilian. So, this guy blew up there. Let's see. That's important for some reason. He spotted one with submachine guns. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Mark the camera. Move it to position to get to a better position. I got it. Moving to position. Drone is airborne. Target marked. Target acquired. Ready. Call the shot. Opening fire. Rattled somebody's Target cage. eliminated. <laughs> Fucking hell. How is this shit possible? What do you want to do, boss? Send it to Bowman. Then ask him for some goddamn truth. I'll fly. 
Okay, there's a one more mission here. El Sueño wants to meet. Hey man, try to take us off some sweet chance, alright? Yes. What the fuck is going on? Nomad, I don't know what to say. You could start with the goddamn truth. Did you know Ricky bombed the embassy? Did you help? Of course not. I had no fucking idea. Ricky, he messed up. Messed up? Messed up Bowman, the entire reason we are here, the whole goddamn operation, all of this is a big fucking lie. You think I don't know that? He was my fucking friend. He burned me harder than anyone on this. So what are you gonna do about it? Sueño is still a plague. This doesn't change that. He deserves to go to prison for the rest of his life. Prison? It, he deserves to get lit the fuck up and dragged through the streets by dogs. Fuck prison. I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? I mean, I don't know. I... I need time. I need to think. Bowman out. I honestly don't think that he's worth the bullet. So that's an interesting renovation and I like it. How close is the closest? Checkpoint here. Can I quick travel to here? No, here? No. Can I go here? I'll pilot. Come on. I still don't see anybody. Fuck is going on? Stay sharp. Watch for an ambush. Hola, caballero. This is El Sueño. It is a pleasure to finally speak with you. And here I thought we were going to meet face to face. Don't tell me you're running late. I apologize for the subterfuge. But people in our line of work, we must be cautious. But I am not a liar. There are no Sicarios in your area. No need that. I only wish to talk. Tell us where you are. Then we'll talk. I am only attempting to end the bloodshed. There is no need for it. It's bad for my business. And it is bad for Bolivia. This country has been trying to get back on its feet for decades. Do not kick it back down. Says the guy who turned this country into his own personal glory hole. You got something of value to say? There are four cars in front of you. Consider them a signing bonus. You better say that again. Must be something wrong with my hearing. You want to hire us? You're four of the most dangerous people alive. Of course I want to hire you. Every day you risk your life for your country, and your government pays you casi nada. Put those skills to work for me, for Santa Blanca, and you will make more money than you can imagine. Sorry, but we're gonna have to politely ask you to go fuck yourself. See, we only came to this meeting to kill you. The fact that you aren't here just means you get a little more time on this earth. But I figure you should start saying your goodbyes, because we're coming for you, and we're gonna burn you down. So be it. I will enjoy watching you try. There's the phone. We're gonna answer. I ain't picking that shit up. Fucking hell. Okay. Bowman, we're still breathing. Though Sueño made us a pretty lucrative job offer. Job offer? Did you take it? Benefits package wasn't great, and we told him we were gonna kill him, so you're stuck with us for now. Fair enough. Be in touch. Okay, you don't need to exit every time through the roof, you know. I 
I think everything's cleared up. We've received word from Pakatari that one of his rebels. Let's put an end to this once and for all. Got the bike. One kilometer from here. I'll catch up with you. RV. Something ain't right. Come on, move. Shit. I got a body here. It's that rebel leader, Amaru. We freed that guy from the cartel. I'm trying to call Pac, but it ain't going through. Think Pac and his rebels threw down with the cartel? And Pac had to run? It doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pac. Bowman, we've got a situation. We set up a meet with Pac and one of his guys. With Pac? Where are you? Listen, instead of Pak, we found Amaru. He's been killed. Have you heard from Pak Katari? Pak Katari is here with me in Pukara. Bowman? Bowman! What the hell is going on here? No idea, but we gotta get to Bowman, fast. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I'll burn this whole fucking country down to get back at them. Right sure. You, man. Bowman she was so up there. with her, then the call got cut off. Might be the sad phone dropped the call. Might be Pack fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Pukara? Got it. I bet he betrays her. First time in a lot. That almost horribly failed. Bowman. Pakatari. What about him? He turned on us. We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Nomad? You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the rebels are no longer our allies. Why? We have the bloody same go. Find and probably kill this guy. Contact. Rebel hostiles. Taking the shot. Okay, someone wake me up. We have all day. We don't have all day. 
Fly, little bird, fly. Man down over here. Hola, camarada. Pax, what the hell are you trying to do? Same thing as you, amigo. Doing what's right for my country. El sueño will die on Bolivia's soil. My people must know. The government must know. The other cartels must know the rebels are not slaves for the Americans. We are strong on our own. Is that why you killed Amaru? Because he wasn't strong enough? Amaru was a man of ideals. Brilliant ideals. But ideals do not feed people. Ideals do not build armies. Ideals do not take down corrupt governments. Neither does getting your people killed. My people know. That if they die today, they will return tomorrow at thousands and thousands. That's not gonna make it any less painful. There is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life. It's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to... Oh, come on. I was so close. I should have opened the parachute 50 meters from the ground. By the way, that guy shot me with one bullet and killed me. It was amazing. Let's try this again. Can I go for a helicopter? I asked Pakatari to send us vehicle. They still send me a helicopter. Rebel hostiles. Engage. So that was good and funny and cool. Stop shooting at the rebels. By the way, that mausoleum I remember it, it, it wasn't easy to get through, that's why I think the helicopter will be great. place should I jump? Okay, almost there. Fortunately, I have one more revival. Unless I take out my teammates, which can happen. Yeah, it did happen. It was amazing, again. Okay, third time's a charm, right? Can't wait to see what kind of final boss he is. Okay. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us.
Bowman. Contact. Rebel hostiles. What, those sums aren't getting me? Sure, that was funny. Show us your fucking hands, now! I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad heaven. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir. Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir. Yes, I understand. Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman? He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck. who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you. If you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman. It seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. Bowman, no! <clears throat> The dream is dead. 
If you're watching this, that means I have executed El Sueño. I'm certain that people will think I went crazy. That I did it out of emotion, that I broke. Fuck them. They're wrong. I knew exactly what I was doing. This piece of shit, this monster, tortured my friend, killed him. Decapitated my partner, massacred thousands. And he gets to walk? Uh, sorry, but not on my fucking watch. Given what El Sueño knew about Ricky Sandoval, he would have been unstoppable. Trivia question. What happens when you give immunity to a drug lord? Ding, ding, ding. You get a dictator. Taking out a drug lord is one thing, but stopping a dictator? You need a few more than four operators for that. My career, my freedom, my life is not worth more than the people of South America. Obviously, not everyone agrees, which is why I'm most likely now in a federal correctional institute, getting three hots in a cot for the next 45 to life for murder. By now, CIA has probably released an official statement saying the case officer in question is no longer employed by this agency and acted in direct opposition to her superiors. Her actions have caused great harm to the continued efforts of the intelligence community here and abroad. And guess what? They're right. I would have done the same thing as them. No hard feelings here. I just hope they don't leave Bolivia. Without Pakitari, the rebellion will tear itself apart with infighting. Unidad will make a deal with the next criminal organization that comes along, and the remains of Santa Blanca will split off and form new mini cartels, all with shitty names like Nueva Frontera Cartel, Berrio Familia, and Los Hijo del Sueño. Everyone will continue killing each other for that coca. I wonder if God knew all the destruction that this little leaf would bring. Would she have still created it? Or maybe that's exactly why she did. I don't even know anymore. But it's no longer my question to answer. So I leave you with this. In the dying words of Augustus, founder and first emperor of the Roman Empire, have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. Bowman out. Yes, that definitely isn't true. Augustus was not the founder of the Roman Empire, it was Caesar. Augustus was the first emperor, sure. But it was Caesar who formed it. So, final thoughts about the game. Oh, the ending guy really didn't like it, mostly because I don't think that he was such a threat. So, let's start with the gameplay, shall we? As a shooter, this works fine. It has a distinct sound when you shoot someone, so you almost always know when you hit them. The game teaches you never to go in guns blazing. It's important to have good reconnaissance, which is a double-edged sword, really. Because when you are freely, fairly sure where the enemies are, you tend to ignore locations where, you know, undiscovered enemies may lurk. So, the open world experience? Well, this feels a little different. It's like the developers had a great ambition to make the game big, but somehow fell short. Like halfway through the game, they decided that it's too much of a bother to make everything work the way it should. Nowhere is there a more obvious threat than, uh, you know, the driving mechanic. The vehicles are fine, especially when it comes to variety, but all of them behind clunky. Every time you try to drive something, it doesn't seem like it wants to stop the... Uh, There's always a drift, yeah, especially when you make a turn or try to stop. Amazingly, this problem is not just limited to ground vehicles, helicopters all behave differently. Sometimes they feel slow, sometimes they kill you when you try to power drop, and sometimes they jump once you exit them. Okay, the locations and the bases are fine, they do give you a good challenge sometimes, and it's satisfying, very satisfying when you execute a mission perfectly. The way 
The way it works is pretty cool, especially if you manage to hide, to hide very well and just take out the target without being detected. Okay. There are moments when your character simply takes too long to make an action. I can think of one example, when you go into a church to steal the Bible. It takes 10 seconds to get out of cover, look through the pages and then try to hide again without being seen. It's very annoying. On extreme difficulty it's especially challenging. Your companions are a weird mix of great and awful. They seem to have far superior armor than you. And when they actually do shoot something, and they tend to kill him, but um... Well, how should I put this? Well, let's say that you want someone dead. If you get inside a vehicle and drive like a madman, your companions are most definitely gonna hit something. They have amazing aim. On the other hand... On the other hand, well, when you expect them to cover you, they never seem to do that. You need to watch your own back and honestly, they don't feel like a team when you're not trying to sink shot or indeed drive somewhere. Okay, let's turn to the character creation and I know that sounds like a weird topic for a shooting game. But it's the main reason I chose this game over so many other products that Ubisoft has created. The character creation is very basic. I like the variety of clothing and camo and the fact that you can customize your gear to fit with the current environment. You are however, that immersion is awful, oh, is awful. Well, I was gonna say, the immersion is almost immediately broken by the fact that you can't customize your team. It seems like a major misstep, in my opinion. I mean... Let's start with the fact that you are a main character and have three other men. And they have no right. You can play as a female character, but you can't have a female companion. I think it would have been better to have given us a full customization option on our team or a different team every time we take on a new boss or a new character after taking out a set boss and customizing your team with the characters you have unlocked. Let's turn to the story of the game. The story is ridiculous. A Mexican cartel taking control of Bolivia to create a narco state. That is definitely imaginative and made even more hilarious by the fact that the game takes itself so seriously. So there are three main characters of the story. You, the protagonist, Bowman, the one who gives you all the tasks, and El Suenio, the main villain. There's also the rebel leader, but he's really minor. Okay, let's start with El Suenio. I don't lie when I say this. He's the worst villain I have ever seen. The guy starts off okay. In the intro, with that I never lie monologue, he tries to sound very deep. However, throughout the story, one thing about him stands out. He's an idiot. He has invested all his power in one go to create an arc state. I seriously doubt that he has the brain capacity to do so, because he makes no effort to hide his evilness. One guy fails him, the next day he turns up dead. He is involved in children trafficking and sends the person he thinks will save his soul, and I quote, to dispel these lies. Yeah, so much for I never lie. He lies to everyone, to himself, to his people, to his enemies. Yeah, he's a monster to his own people. Somehow they still follow him, they are still loyal for some unknown reason. I understand his best friend, you know. So why do they follow him? Because of fear? 
basically lives in a castle made from cards. The fact is that if you take one of those sub-bosses, the entire scheme should collapse within days. The man has no honor. He betrays all the people. Yeah, all the people who failed him. The problem was that we were such a good team and he has no excuses. He just kills everyone he trusts, betrays everyone he... Well, betrays basically everyone who works with uh, the same thing as, as him. Especially in the end when he gives up all the cartels. I actually have no idea why anyone would work with him. As for he could he come back if he is not killed? Well, no! No! No one will trust you once you have betrayed those who are like you. No friend, no co workers. Okay. I honestly don't. <laughs> don't know. This guy just annoyed me so much. He has basically made himself a target for everyone and has absolutely no saving grace. Okay, let's talk about Bowman. She is fine. Especially for the one that gives you all the tasks, does all the research and shows some very good character moments. Especially when you bring her suspects. And like, she can tell when these people are afraid of anything. And will use that fear to get to them. Prime example is that guy with the burned face and the flamethrower. I really like that moment. Or we'll give him an open hand when necessary. Like with El Cardinal and the old man and his family. Her story is itself it's predictable. That's the problem with this game, it's painfully predictable. I managed to predict everyone who would betray Al Sueño and he deserved it. I mean, you realize what kind of villain he is after the first dish boss bosses. Yeah. Yuri and Polito. Second you finish that, you'd know exactly what kind of person Al Sueño is. So let's go back to the game. Well, my favorite moments of the game was when I collected weapons and customized them. That, I believe, is a very good idea for a shooter, and unfortunately the weapons don't feel so diverse. I mean, I have tried the shotgun, it seems kind of weird, but honestly I wouldn't use it over an assault rifle. I tried the SMGs and it feels just as strong as the assault rifle, especially when you aim for the head. Minus the grenade launcher, that I believe was the best weapon. Okay, overall I did like the game. I won't give it more than an average score. It seems like they tried, but not too hard. So that's it for me. I don't think I'll replay the main game. I'd like to thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.